Back at the diet swap and super skinny Elizabeth and super sized Stefan are about to embark on a week of eating each other's diets. Breakfast is Stefan's first encounter with Elizabeth's strict anti-aging diet. Oh, what have we got there, Elizabeth, young lady? Recognize anything? Oh, no, I recognize the banana. There's these are prunes. Oh, I haven't seen them from it. was about nine. And these are Brazil nuts. Brazil nuts. I haven't seen them since there was chocolate on them. Okay. So. And for Elizabeth, it's a saturated fat delight. Two sausage rolls on white baps with cheese, lashings of butter and double mayo. All washed down with a glass of Coke. Brilliant. Okay. Tell my mama lover. The dried prunes feels like I've just reached in to the waste disposal and took out some big dirty old tea bags. Stefan may not be enjoying his breakfast, but prunes are packed with essential minerals and antioxidants. Great to keep skin looking young. And as a traditional remedy for constipation, prunes are also one of the most effective means of helping things run smoothly on the inside. I don't necessarily like Brazil nuts or prunes, but they serve a purpose, so I eat them. For me, happiness isn't in sitting down and eating a plate of food. There is no feeling, no emotions attached whatsoever. Am I sounding like Mr. Spock? <laughs> After failing to finish her first meal, it's obvious Elizabeth gets no enjoyment from eating. But for Stefan, food and emotion go hand in hand. But his overeating is standing in the way of any real passion in his life. I think when you're talking about relationships, when you're this size, if you can't love yourself, you're not going to invite anyone into your life to love you. I want to be slim to be good looking. Uh, you know, because I don't think this is good looking. And it hurts with every heartbeat. A good looking shepherd's pie is what Elizabeth faces up to now she's on uh, Stefan's uh, diet. Some presentation this. And she serves up some chicken and rice sprinkled with her signature ingredient four raw cloves of garlic. Okay. Oh. But the garlic is medicinal. Yeah, I could find another word for it, but... Stefan might dislike the taste of raw garlic, but both cooked and raw, it's a powerful tool in lowering cholesterol and keeps the blood healthily thin, therefore preventing blood clots. Give me a taste in my mouth, uh, much like sucking a 2P would give you a taste in your mouth. Ordinarily, I'd probably be thinking yuck, because, I mean, it didn't look very appetising, did it? It was going through the motions. It was just opening my mouth, putting the food in. At the end of day one, Elizabeth's stubborn mindset is not changing. Elizabeth has a wonderful discipline towards food. I'm still not convinced if, if it controls her, she controls it. I'm different. So my habits are not the habits that normal people would have. It's a mind over matter thing. So my mind controls my body. This isn't a view Dr. Jessen believes will help you live a long and healthy life. I've got news for Elizabeth. Her diet is so poor, so lacking in essential vitamins and minerals that far from preventing the aging process, she's actually setting herself up for big problems in the future. It's time to give her a wake-up call about the true effects her diet will have on her body as she gets older. With your hand here it looks fine now but if you're not getting enough calcium how are your nails going to go properly where's that calcium going to come from i have no idea i'll tell you it's coming from your bones elizabeth's very restrictive diet which includes very little dairy can lead to thinning hair dry skin and brittle nails and what do you think happens to old women's bones when they're thin and brittle they become fragile. They become fragile and they break. Old ladies are always falling over. They fracture their hip and that can often kill them. OK. Far from being an anti-aging diet, the lack of minerals in Elizabeth's food could stop her from producing collagen and leave her skin loose and wrinkly. You are doing untold damage to your body for the future. Just imagine this scenario, right? You catch some horrible bug. You get salmonella, let's say, OK? You have chronic diarrhea all the time. You can't eat because you're sick. Mm. Where are your reserves to get you through that? 
I won't answer that. Well, the four weeks of bottom burning exercise is up for my Portsmouth girls. By the right, quick, march, left, right. Have my arse busting routine succeeded in toning up these tushes? The South Coast, you were given the MBT shoes to help walk off those inches. So, do the shoes just talk the talk, or do they walk the park? Let's take a peek! Woo! <laughs> they look a bit leaner, and even feel a bit firmer. That's a definite improvement. That's quite good. <laughs> In the end, it all comes down to the tail of the tape. I've lost two inches off my waist and an inch off my bottom. And I'm really surprised. I'm absolutely amazed at how much I've lost. I've gone from 48 inches to 44 and a half. And it's not like I do loads of walking. A couple of my friends said they look like correctional shoes. Um, and somebody said to me they look like I bought them for a tenner off the local market. But I love them. <laughs> the results are in! How did it go? Well, I can tell you that the total inch loss is... 19 and a half inches! It's an average loss of 1.77 inches per bum, and it's a great result. It takes the Portsmouth Posse to the top of the league. That's fantastic! Well done, South Coast. One, two, three, clap. Back at the swap, two, three, and after a couple of days on Stefan's diet, Elizabeth needs some time out and opts for her favourite activity, dancing. And for Stefan, it could be just what he needs to win new hearts back home. I'm going to get you dancing. I have rhythm, I have rhythm. Look, 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 this body has rhythm. All right. OK. That should make it easy, then. All right. Cue the music. It's a little bit of freestyle. Yeah. Just... Me and Elizabeth had a great song together, we have done some moves, but when I stepped back, there was only Elizabeth in the room. Elizabeth was focused on Elizabeth. I am stuck in a time warp, and that's part of the reason why I'm still, as far as I'm concerned, young, because the people I used to go clubbing with, they're all old and boring now, and I'm still the same. I would hope that in 20 years I'm still doing this, in 40 years even. Concerned that his dance partner might be hungry after their workout, Stefan treats Elizabeth to one of his favourite snacks, a burger. I know how to get out of a woman's heart, quite literally. You mean how to give her a heart attack? Please, no more food offerings. Unfortunately for Elizabeth, only 60 minutes later, dinner arrives, and it's not small. It's a large portion of fish and chips. Had I not eaten everything else today, I would have been able to eat that, all of that. And for Stefan, time really is standing still, as he faces another anti-aging meal packed full of raw garlic. There's going to be a 10-mile sun around me in London with my breath. Mm -mm. I'm not going to be able to walk anywhere. <laughs> It's two full days now without caffeine, without the sugar, without the constant feed of food. I think it's just brought my emotions down a little and um, the normal sparky self has just been, it's just a little subdued. And I find that irritations are a little bit more intense. I just feel a little... Mm. 